Uh, see, the ACL is a rope that connects the femur to the tibia, the thigh bone to the shin bone, and it keeps your knee stable in that it keeps the bones under each other so they're not unstable. Very commonly in the, in the lay press, we hear about ACL ruptures in athletes, and that's when they cut too hard or someone hits them and the knee comes apart. The modern day treatment for that is to replace that ligament, the torn ligament, with a graft and then kind of lock it in there with some screws and hope that the body turns that graft into scar tissue. Back in the 1970s when they first started understanding about ACL tears, um, they tried to stitch them back together. It was kind of the first most intuitive response to injury. After that point, the evolution of ACL surgery took a turn towards reconstruction. That's the, the modern day state of the art procedure. My technique is a bit of a throwback. It works best for uh, a specific type of tear, and that tear is that comes off the bone directly. It rips right off the wall, and the entire ligament is intact except its attachment to the bone. And essentially, I think they had the right idea back then, but they didn't have the proper technology to execute on it. Today we have MRI. I can see what type of tear you have before we go to surgery. Today we have incredible advances in our arthroscopic technology. In addition, the rehab that we know, now know about is, makes the old rehab look like the dark ages. I keep all of your native anatomy and just reattach it to the wall. This is Dr. N, 47-year-old cardiothoracic surgeon, former ski racer, tore it, proximal tear, five months ago, underwent ACL primary repair, was back to work two weeks after surgery, operating 10 hours a day with no swelling and almost full range of motion. Here he is five months out. We can see his knee. We've got uh, no swelling at all. We've got beautiful, nice, easy, full range of motion. The big question is, does it work? And, and that's the exciting part. I'm just about to publish the uh, first results of the first 11 patients that we did it on and two to six year follow-up. And 10 out of the 11 patients uh, are doing great in all respects. They've got nice stable knees and they're functioning at very high levels. The recovery was rather easy. Some of them shockingly easy. When you were in therapy, who was moving faster, you or the people who had the standard ACL reconstruction? I was moving much faster. It was a huge difference. Did you find that you were in less pain than them and moved, uh, progressed quicker? Yeah, I had almost no pain and I went so much faster. Yeah? It was like a different injury. How long did you take to get your range of motion back? About a week to two weeks. Yeah. And those other folks weren't, weren't going so quickly? No, not at all. One of the greatest parts about it is, and I've done between 40 and 50 of these now, but so far we're running at about 90% success rate. And the best part is, is if it doesn't work, well, you can always go back and do the reconstruction. You haven't burned any bridges.